Welcome to the Moms on Call Scheduler app tutorial. If this is your first time in the app, when you get to your home page, you'll have several options. Select age of baby or toddler. Here you'll have the option to select baby under 12 months, toddler over 12 months, or for the first time ever, if your household has a baby and a toddler, we've developed schedules for you that helps you know the best time to run errands, gives you a combined nap time of at least an hour per day, and establishes the most nighttime sleep. Today, let's just go and see a baby schedule. Once you've selected the baby, we'll get more options to narrow down the baby's age. Today, let's go to four to eight weeks. Here in our four to eight week schedule, you can see with the color coding, it's very easy to identify what times we're supposed to feed the baby, and we can open up these different windows to see more information about what should be happening at each time of day. We also have some basic tips and information about amounts and times that'll help you to navigate this specific schedule. If this does not work in your household, however, you can select Show Me Another Option, and we've shifted the schedule, so we keep the primary things intact that are helpful in establishing nighttime sleep and getting great nap times, but we've shifted it so that it'll be appropriate for more households. Once you've had a chance to look at these two schedules, you'll select one as your personal Moms on Call schedule. If I want to select this one, I would set this as my current Moms on Call schedule. However, if I want to select the previous one, I'll set that one as my Moms on Call schedule. Once I've done that, the app will open to the home page, and from then on, I'll go directly to my current Moms on Call schedule. And you can see here's our four to eight week schedule that we selected. Now, you may notice that the bottom of the schedule looks a bit different. Once we're here and we selected our schedule, we've gone directly to our personal Moms on Call schedule, we have a few other really great options. Our favorite feature is our crazy day feature. Because we're moms and we know that every day does not run on schedule, well, now there's a button for that. If we're having a crazy day, we'll get some information about how to salvage that day and how to maintain those long stretches of nighttime sleep. We can also go to the share schedule and we can print out a schedule. We can send it to any email address we choose and it'll give us a printed schedule that includes all of this information with all of the windows open. That's great for caregivers or to put on the refrigerator. And then finally, we have our more options section. There's several things we can do here. The first of those being setting alarms. If I'd like to set an alarm for every feeding time, I can turn that on. Or if I just want to set an alarm for those options in the schedule, those times of day that are crucial to maintaining our nighttime sleep, then I can choose option two. All right, but I can just choose one or the other. So let's go for every feeding time. And you'll notice that when we go back to our schedule, what happens is these little alarms show up and it'll alarm every time that it is time to feed the baby, except for the times between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. Babies vary significantly in what time they wake up, and we give you instructions on exactly what to do for those middle-of-the-night feedings. But the alarms won't go off at those times. All right, so we've got this schedule. We're going to go back to our more options and see what other fun things we can do. One of those is knowing when to progress to the next schedule. Let's say our baby is seven weeks old. We're in our four to eight week schedule and our baby is gonna be able to consider going to the eight to 16 week schedule in approximately seven days. If my baby was older or younger, I can set that time to whatever number of days is appropriate. And I can set this alarm so that it will let me know when it's time to consider progressing to the next schedule. If your app lets you know it's time to consider moving to the next schedule, come back into more options. How do I know if my baby's ready? Well, there's a button for that. We'll be able to give you guidelines as to know whether or not you're ready to progress and give you the option to see the next schedule so you know where things are headed. Those are the primary things that we've put into this app that we hope are very helpful for you. At Moms on Call, we want you to sleep, feed, laugh, and love this parenting experience. We hope that maybe this will put a little bit more order in what can be a really chaotic time and hope that you'll take a look at the other resources that we have for parents at MomsOnCall.com.